Thanks for watching. I'm Margot Kinberg, and this is In the Spotlight, a closer look at a crime novel. Some crime novels focus on the interrelationships among the characters, and that's where the heart, the motive of a crime is. Let's take a look at an example today and turn the spotlight on S.P. Edwards till death. Anna Markham was due to be married to her fiancé, Gregor Stanek. Instead, on the morning of the wedding, her body is discovered on the property of Hendon House Estate where the wedding was to take place. Detective Inspector Steve Moore and his team begin the investigation. As you'd imagine, they start with the bride's family and close friends. They don't find very much in the way of motive, though. Anna and her parents had a loving relationship, and she and her best friend seem to as well. As for Gregor, there is no evidence that he had a motive for murder. He is as upset at the death as you can imagine. Mar and the team know, though, that things aren't always what they seem. And as they begin to dig for the truth, they have to peel away layers, so to speak, to find out what the relationships in the, among the characters really are like. And the killer wants more than anything else to keep the truth from coming out. In the meantime, Mar's got problems of his own. He and his wife, Lizzie, are facing a crisis in their marriage, which has otherwise been happy. And it doesn't help that Lizzie has recently become pregnant. It's going to take all of Mar's skills and strength to solve the case and keep his marriage intact. So what are the elements in the novel? What keeps this novel going? This is a police procedural, so readers follow along as the police team gets evidence, puts the pieces together, interviews witnesses, and so on. There are differences among the cops, but this isn't a stereotypical case of turf building or office backstabbing. In general, the team works well together. Mar knows he depends on the team, too, and he treats them with respect. The story is told from a few viewpoints, including Mar's third person, past tense, He's far from perfect, and a few times he drinks more than he should and does other things, but he's not the drunken, demon-haunted type of detective who can't work with others or have any relationships. As the story goes on, the different points of view give a more rounded picture of what led to Anna Markham's murder. As a side note about the characters, several of them are strong female characters. Readers who like their female characters to be intelligent, decisive, and to have initiative will appreciate that. The main case, the murder of Anna Markham, is solved and we get the answers to the main questions. The who, the why, the motive, but that doesn't make everything all right again. Edwards makes it clear that the murder of a friend and family member is a devastating thing that doesn't just go away. That said though, readers who like the questions in their stories answered will be pleased to know that they learn what really happened and why. The story isn't particularly violent, though there are some violent scenes. They're not graphic and they're not drawn out. There is some grit in this story, so there is some explicitness. It's not exactly a cozy, but that's not really protracted either. Till Death is a police procedural with a small circle of subjects and a dedicated police team. It features an Essex setting, a sad case of murder, and a protagonist who's trying to make his life right. This has been In the Spotlight. I'm Margot Kinberg. Thanks for watching.